Let's talk about why this world isn't very connected. Every country has their own unique culture, and we can't experience these cultures if we can't afford to travel there or if it's a dangerous country to travel to. One way we could bring countries together is through sporting events and arenas to allow countries to share these cultures in the same place. I chose arenas because they're a relatively safe place because they're security and it'd be difficult to commit a, a crime. In other countries, Soccer is the primary sport that most people play and watch. Whereas in America, there are multiple big time sports that people follow. I've traveled around the world and playing soccer and I've noticed that other countries don't really like Americans until they get to know us. As an American, I wanna find a way to change that. For example, when the USA, oh, when the USA played Iran in the 2022 World Cup, tensions were high due to political disagreements. This game was a safe, controlled event where fans were able to experience each other's cultures. Iranians and Americans have a lot of history regarding political issues, but in this game there wasn't any of that. It was friendly competition that allowed these players to represent their country. Soccer may be a competitive sport, but it also acts as a way for people from different socio socioeconomic backgrounds to share their stories. Friendly competition can bring people together and can be a fun way to support your country as if you are joking with a friend. In the Olympics, countries compete against each other under the same roof and fans travel all from the world together and compete in competition. As Americans, I think we are looked down upon by other popular soccer countries. If we show other countries that we enjoy attending the game alongside them, then maybe they will take us more seriously. As a big soccer fan, I have witnessed other countries judge Americans for their soccer abilities. It seems like people don't respect American soccer players for their fans as much as Brazilian soccer teams. An example from my personal experience is when I went to watch um, a Chelsea soccer game in England. The one American player that made a mistake, the fans booed him instantly. However, when an English player made a mistake, they brushed it off like nothing happened. Why are the skills of an American soccer player being judged so much harder compared to an English soccer player? Many people in other countries lack the means to travel outside their country, but if we bring an amazing sport like soccer to their homeland and experience a new culture, they may give us more respect. During the World Cup in Qatar, people from all over the world came to watch this game, these games. This allowed people to travel to the place they may not have visited unless the World Cup was actually there. Because in the first 52 games, there were 2.65 million fans. The average amount of fans per game was 51,000. That's like a lot per game. I knew people that lived in the United States that went to these games and experienced custom tradition, traditions where they not, were not necessarily used to. Every country participating in the World Cup had fans that were representing their local community. When each team played each other, their fans were cheering them on. Soccer is probably the most accessible sport in the world, which makes it perfect, which is a perfect way for it to bring people closer together. If Americans focused primarily on soccer, I guarantee you that we would have the best national team and soccer association in the whole world. This would bring people from other countries to play in the United States, but would also enable us to establish mutual connections with other countries. When I went to England, France, and Italy, it gave me more perspective and helped me know how proud I am to be able to play soccer in my home country. Even though the U.S. does not value soccer as much as these countries, there are still people that appreciate the game as much as I do, or as, and as much as they do. It also made me realize that there are people in different countries that appreciate soccer just like me. We already have a mutual connection. We can bring a sport to a country so that locals can watch their game and enjoy the company of others. I believe that perspectives help define a person. It gives insight to their own personal life and how lucky they are to 
have everything they do. This was the house I stayed in in Spinocchio, Italy, and it was very like scary because there was like a oh there was like a room with like a broken wall, and then there was like a cradle in there. It was like really scary. So it gave me perspective about how lucky I have I am to live at my house when I'm feeling comfortable and not afraid. So if we want to establish if we want to establish better relationships and learn more about other countries and their cultures, we should support our soccer teams and travel with them to other countries. This isn't just for our team, it's for our fans, but also for our opponents and to show them respect to other countries. Not only will we be able to enjoy a friendly game between the highly skilled athletes, we may also learn a thing or two about where these people come from. Uh, thank you. Thank you.